can do that. That won't work. What's going on, guys? Really quickly, can you uh, can you hear me and the background music? Is the background music too loud or not loud enough? We need to uh, all right. Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry, I had to lose a layer. It's hotter in here than I thought it was. What? What's everybody up to on this wonderful Friday evening? Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, Don? What are you doing, buddy? Just put the baby to bed. Uh, so I figured, you know, what the hell? Why not? Ooh. It's Saturday. Is it Saturday where you guys are? Is it? No, it's Friday here. Where are you guys at? Rewatching Supernatural? That is a fantastic show the best youtuber in the game get the fuck out of here <laughs> nice nice middle east time zone is whack oh nice Nice. Are you like 12 hours ahead? Is that right? I think of where I'm at right now. It's 9.14 here. Whoa. Inner scare. I just saw your comment too. What's up, buddy? I don't know if you're still in here or not. Where I live is a need to know. <laughs> Yeah, understood. I keep my proximity pretty close to my chest, too. So, I get it. Thought about maybe reading some stories, but I'd have to find some. Because I currently don't have any for my next episode. But I'd, I might have to go back in the vault and find some. Uh, better than ballin get the f out of here bro ballin is like i appreciate that though ballin's like top tier and dudes he's a goat as they call him yeah um at least for this show i will probably never show my face because no offense but people are fucking crazy and the less you know about me, the better. The less I know about you, probably the better, too. Mm -hmm. Um... I appreciate that there, LD. All right, let me. <laughs> I 
ugly mug is more like that their their inner ugly mug is more definitely more appropriate let me go back in the time machine here and see if i can find a couple of stories from a long time ago that i haven't read in quite a while I wish I had the uh, the news stories for next week, but I think Zach's still working on them currently. No biggie, though. Yes, it does. It feels nice to just chill out. So, all right. Thanks for stopping by there, Eternal. Have a good night, CP. I'm a medical coder, and I listen to your channel while working. Hell yeah. Nice. I'm glad I can keep you company. What's up, bub? Yeah, is it? I know. All right. Well, you're gonna have to bring me the uh, the switch so I know what to do. Sorry, little man might interject here and there because he's still not asleep yet. Explore the restaurant area on the second floor. Explore the restaurant area on the second floor okay here you go man Can you turn that light off too please that one yep yeah if you gotta be you gotta be you can't be loud though okay deal <laughs> all right all right okay sorry San Bernardino, what's up, George? How you doing? How are you doing? I was just literally finishing watching a video that uploaded. Great video, long day. Sleep now. Right on, McLean. Appreciate it. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Boo's going to read some stories. Yeah, I'll read some stories. You can listen to me mess up words and mispronounce stuff and get irritated and walk away like I normally do. You going to do any more driver stories? Yeah, uh... Once I get some more stories from Zach, I definitely will. That's that's definitely one I enjoy doing more often than not. Um, it's uh, it's a good topic. Unfortunately, there's only so many of them out there, you know. One year old and almost twenty one year old. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that. I got a five year old and a nine month old, but they're more than a handful. That's for sure. Okay, I'm trying to find some, but it's, it's, damn it, this is, this is harder than I thought it was going to be trying to find these stories. So I'm going like way back in the videos where I used to tag the stories from, uh, well not tag the stories, but you know what I mean from, from Reddit where I used to put them in the description and stuff like that just from a long time ago where I probably sounded like ass anyway. Hold on one second. Let me see if this one has got any. Ooh, hold on. Let me pull this up. Might be able to find this one. Uh, Google. Reddit. Uh, what was it? 2003. 2003. Well, that didn't work. Sorry. Give me a second here. I'm going to find them. I swear. I swear. And uh, let's see. Backwards, deep woods. No, it's backwards, right? The B. Or slash. Yes. There it is. All right. Wide. What the fuck? Let's, let's 
how you fucking write it. Why are you doing this? Okay, there, there it is. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, it is a good topic. Do I miss the army at all? Did you ever want to stay in? I definitely don't miss the army. Uh, I missed the people that I was in the army with. I definitely missed all those dudes. They were really, really cool dudes, but I don't miss doing all the dumb shit that you have to do in the army at all. There is a human behind the voice. I know a lot of people in the comment section think that this channel is AI, which... I guess it still could be. AI could be controlling it right now and answering all your questions, but. Creepy kid stories get to me because I'm a parent. Oh, yeah. They definitely do. Same. Make a baby album journal for my first grandkids. Very nice. Very nice. If I won't chat much more, I'm headed to bed, but good night, everyone. See you, ma'am. Have a good night, bro. <laughs> See you later, Don. Have a good night there, officer. Yeah, James, how we doing? Nice to see you. Uh, is it Merrily? Thank you. I appreciate that. True to you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot. It's been a very long ride. I mean, not that long, but it's been long as in coming from where I started to now. Because I definitely sounded like dog doo-doo at the beginning i still can't even go back and re-listen to some of my old episodes because they're so bad <sighs> are you oh you're working that sucks good i'm what's up man aaron how you doing bro you said you're working you work late nights third shift well i guess it's not technically third shift yet is it i guess it could be wherever you are but um all right let me pull this story up <clears throat> and we can do that one your voice sounds really uh i don't remember man i'm getting ready to read some stories though so okay you gotta be you gotta be quiet remember yeah can you turn that down Okay, thanks. <clears throat> I had a Facebook. What's going on? Reason people think your AI is because so many channels, every person sounds so honest. And yeah, I get it. I mean, I get it to a certain extent. I really do. Because there's only so much you can do. Because I'm not really technically a voice actor. You know, I'm just reading stories. So a lot of the time, unless there's a part in the story where I have to like put some kind of emphasis or emotion into something like where I yell or do something like that it's hard to distinguish between because there is a lot a lot of AI channels out there right now uh, it's definitely becoming more and more of a thing um, I, I run across them all the time I've only had a handful of times where somebody has sent not even AI related somebody's just sent me like hey I'm pretty sure this is you and they're basically just downloading my content and then re re-uploading it for themselves on their own channel and that that tends to happen a lot as well so it's definitely a pain pain in the arse i appreciate that true to you thank you i had a channel on a facebook group and walked away facebook channel like channel doing this same thing work until 1 a.m mst gotcha Oh, it got recommended to you after watching Mr. Nightmare. Well, that's, I mean, that's good. I feel like I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I'm in the same vicinity, I guess, as Mr. Nightmare. Cause Mr. Nightmare is like one of the, the big boys, you know, I was definitely listening to him seven years, six, seven years ago, however long it's been. He doesn't sound AI as the Raven dreams. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a good voice. He does. 
whatever happened to the sound of the beer can opening in the beginning um i don't know i don't know why i stopped doing that i think there's a lot of people complaining about it if i remember correctly so i just stopped doing it but i've listened to your voice for about a year just so i can sleep well i i i definitely appreciate that there daniel i uh at first, I didn't know whether to take it as a compliment or not when, like, people said, like, I fall asleep to your to your videos, you know? And I did because that, that was kind of at the time where I really didn't understand or know that it was a thing that people use this as kind of like an ASMR type thing. So I was like, man, I did I get into this to put people to sleep or did I get into this to scare people? So at first, it was almost like, damn, is what I'm doing even good? Because it's putting people to sleep. I was recommended by being scared. Oh, man. I love being scared, dude. That is solid, solid, dude. If if there's anybody that, like, really, truly gave me a shot, there's two people that, when I first started, that really gave me, like, Mr. Mr. Revenant gave me a shot on his channel when I very first started, and I sounded like shit. Like, my mic was shit. Everything about my content was not good. And that dude still put me in an episode on a collab with him, so I'm eternally grateful to that dude for even giving me a chance to do that and then being scared as well I just kind of slid in his DMs on Instagram was like shoot my shot so to speak was like hey man I know this is a long shot I've listened to you for a long time would you be open to the idea of collabing and that was just me wanting to have him on my channel you know and just to cross that off of like a bucket list type of thing because I listened to being scared a long time ago and then uh he asked me to come on his and I read the very first story on that episode and it was like life changing in a way because like I was on cloud nine, like reading a story on being scared's channel, the very first story and even giving me, he even gave me like a super, super cool intro to was like, Hey, make sure you go sub to this guy, like give him a chance. He's got a good voice, blah, blah, blah. And then I don't know, maybe six months, six, seven months ago, he asked me to be a narrator on, on chilling. So, yeah, it's it's been a really, really crazy thing because I was just doing this while still working six days a week at the post office. This was just a hobby, and now I'm doing it full time. So, I have your story from today queued up for bedtime. You're one of my favorites. Thank you, event. It means a lot. Much love. I used to watch Mr. Nightmare. So get back and listen to stories. Hell yeah, Kyle. Appreciate it. Okay, you did three different perspectives about the truck driver, etc. That story. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and you can definitely, A-Pink, you can credit Zach for that. Because Zach, the dude that finds the stories and does all that stuff for me. He's the one that kind of triangulates all that stuff. Finds the good stories nowadays for me. And does the different perspectives. Try to keep it, keep it interesting for A, me, and for you too. Because, I mean, that's key to keep you interested. Because, obviously, to keep you listening. And hopefully you continue to enjoy it. Checking in from Savannah, ooh, Ar Ar Arturo, sorry if I mispronounced that, I love, dude, I, Savannah is such a beautiful, beautiful city, I haven't been there since I was a kid, but I loved, I loved all the spooky stuff that was there, fall asleep and I always go back to listen to what I missed, I sleep horribly and this channel helps me out, well, Anto, I'm glad it does, yo, Aaron, thanks for the two, brother, uh, it ain't much, but uh, I mean, it's something. Uh, it's it's some it's more than you had to do. So I appreciate it, man. I hope you have a a good night at work. I remember the episode. Me and my wife. Hell yeah. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate that, man. What was my favorite story you ever read was the military guy who was being stalked in the Rocky Mountains in the eighties by a mountain man. Oh yeah, that one was wild. There's quite a few stories that. It's hard to remember all of them, obviously, because there's probably hundreds, if not thousands at this point that I've read. But um, there's been a lot of good ones, a lot of good ones There's been some bad ones, too. But yeah. Cleaning, cooking, doing laundry sometimes when going to bed. I uh, appreciate that, Nico. Uh, thanks, Amy. I know they aren't scary at all. 
and they're stories that you've already heard before. Thank you, Mika. Alana, I had a few last night. Love my beam. Jim, James Beam, Jimmy Beam. Yeah. Can you please make a video about self-defense stories where people are literally fighting for their lives? Because some stories do in my head. I'd be shouting instructions. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of similar to like when you're watching a scary movie or something like that. And you're like, hey, dumbass, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't follow that. Don't open up that door. But they do it, you know. I mean, and there's also times when I'm reading. Not every story, but a lot of stories I'll be like reading. And I'm like, there's no way there's people this stupid, right? And then I continue reading and okay, they are that stupid. Love your channel has the rain ambience. Yeah, I definitely hijacked that from being scared. I feel like he was another fore, forefather of the whole rain background stuff too, to fall asleep to. So definitely stole that from him, but I'm glad you like it. I definitely do too. Sarah, thank you. I appreciate that. I've lately been deep wood stories. Yeah. Deep Woods, for some reason, Deep Woods are like one of the ones that do super well on my channel for some reason. Don't know why, but I'm glad they do. I'm glad there's something that does well. How do you get your thumbnail ideas? There's such a vibe. I always look out for what you're on to next. I don't know, man. I've, I, I didn't want to pay for them. So like really early on in my channel, I just started researching and spending hours and hours and hours just messing around on my computer doing thumbnails and stuff until now i think i'm finally getting into a good rhythm i really like the old retro ps1 cover style i don't know why i thought about it like a couple of weeks ago and now i'm hoping that that will stick and kind of make my channel stick out more and be like when you see that with the scary logos or scary stories or whatever and you well, no, okay, that's Booze's channel for sure. So I'm hoping that's it and it sticks. This is going to be scary for you when my boys compete in a motocross competition tomorrow and I'm terrified. <laughs> no, Amy's, uh, Amy's, uh, she's a goat. She's, uh, she's solid. If you, uh, remember correctly, old Leslie Lawson has been telling me for, years now that these stories are old and these stories aren't scary along with a handful of other people <clears throat> hey bud cool to have a drink with you i have my whiskey in hand hell yeah what kind of whiskey are you drinking i was drinking buffalo trace the other night that's definitely my favorite have you ever had the metallica whiskey um no not to mind i just i did just try the um chris stapleton one traveler i think it's called the other night and it was pretty good have you seen the Late Night with the Devil movie? It definitely has creepy pasta vibes. I don't think so. What's that on? You're my favorite YouTuber. People just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew what I was getting into when I started this, even though I didn't know what I was getting into until now. It's like there's always... People are always going to hate on you no matter what, even the big ones. And I've got told by other narrators and other, like, you know, content creators, like, hey, you got... If you have naysayers and negative people in your comment section, you're uh, you're doing good. That means you're you're getting big. Because if it's only positive, you're not big enough yet. From at least that's what I've been told. So, just going off of what do they say, Claudius, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Anything with an isolated cabin in the woods or snow? And I'm listening. Thank you for your channel. Thank you. Is it McCartney, Jesse, McCartney? Speaking the rain sounds, although the background sound you use as well. I will not. I think I think I was talking about this the other day. Um I spent I spent a good amount of money on it, but there's a guy that did Joel's music. I reached out to him and he kind of made my own version of that. And I feel like it brings the rain and the stories and everything together. I I, I can't think I'll be able to go back to without the music now because it sounds so much better with, you know, not overwhelmingly loud music, but just like some, it almost sounds like it's in the distance, like in the next, in the next room and the rain sounds a little bit closer. And then you got the stories like overlapping all that. So yeah. Yeah. I didn't know there was a Metallica whiskey, so I'm definitely going to have to try that. 
Your urban camping, you're great. Since I do that often, thanks for scaring the crap out of us or me and us. <laughs> yeah, I def I cannot wait to do another one of those episodes. That was so much fun, and I don't know anybody else, at least doing what I do or what we do in the narrating thing, doing like stealth camping, scary stories like that. I've seen videos, plenty of videos, because I I follow a lot of those, uh, uh, you know, those van life camping people and stuff like that and they i've seen videos of them like you know terrifying night while van life camping whatever elijah craig that sounds familiar that sounds familiar i don't know why oh yeah amy's modded up she's root beer in two hands modded up love your content found it by accident hey thank you man well i appreciate that dude well, I'm glad you accidentally found it. I'm accidentally glad that you did. Deep woods must be a fear of the unknown. It's, yeah, this, the woods are scary, man. And then I think the only thing that's scarier than the woods to me is the ocean. The ocean terrifies the shit out of me. You should collab with Let's Read. I did do one collab with him. It was a while ago. It was well over a year ago. Um, but... Audio wasn't definitely wasn't as good. It sounded okay for the time, but now my audio is definitely better. And I wish he doesn't really collab much anymore. From my from my understanding, I don't think he collabs much. I mean, I'd, I'd definitely like to have him on my channel again, you know. But sorry, I forgot to add. I'm from Australia. It's Saturday after 12 p.m. Loving your channel, Alana. Thank you. Um, always love hearing that I have listeners from all over the globe. Love the idea of collaboration. Let's read. I definitely listen. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm down to collab with that dude always. He's one of the big dogs. I think if I had to pick my top five narrators, at least the ones that I used to listen to on a regular basis, was Let's Read, Mr. Nightmare, uh, Being Scared, um, why am I forgetting, Corpse Husband, and yeah, those were mostly the ones. Yeah, I'll definitely be hitting you up again, um, Claudius, for sure. Um, I think I'm in a better financial position now. I'm not, like, rich by any means, but I'm I'm okay. My head's above water again, so I might be reaching out to you here in, this, here in the near future. Skis. Appreciate that, dude. I'm glad you like the, the deep woodies. Deep woodies. Let's read his Big Daddy J. Mr. Haunted is Honey Boy. I'm going to maybe papa booze <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah if you like extra dark stories try southern cannibal he goes hard for some reason i love southern candy dude he's i i did a collab with him maybe six months ago it might have been longer than that and he doesn't collab with anybody so i felt honored that he allowed me on his channel to do that because he doesn't collab with anybody but i i love that dude because he just tells it like it is he's not sugarcoating shit for you he's not trying to be you know hold anything back he just says what's on his mind and for that for that i commend him you know especially in this uh whatever you want to call it doing this content creation and stuff like that the ocean is way worse couldn't pay me to get on a cruise ship yeah no thanks i've been on a few but i don't plan on going anytime soon again metallica whiskey is called blackened i bought it for my ex when it was first released yeah i definitely want to try that now 100 percent being scared hell yeah he is he's he's one of the goats man that dude's been doing it for so long seven eight years maybe more if you leaf and the darkness prevails are the best uh, you i don't think i've heard of the leaf but darkness prevails solid dude too really like that guy uh collab with mr balls <laughs> <be pretty cool. laughs> yes uh that's left definitely bucket list shit too is to collab with Mr. Balls. And with some strange, dark, and mysterious. I've heard of Rip is it Ripshi or Rip Shy? I don't know how to pronounce him, but I know I've heard that name before. I've heard people talk about him before. Any more paranormal episodes coming up? I think okay, so this is my plan probably starting next month for paranormal stuff. I will be doing paranormal um, episodes strictly for 
exclusive to the podcast side. So you'll only hear them, you know, in the short format, like, you know, the 30 to 40 minute episodes on the podcast side. And then once I get like maybe four hours total of paranormal stories, my plan was to take those all, put them into a big old thick boy and then put them on YouTube. So I don't know why, but I like paranormal stories, but they never do very well on my channel. There's enough people that like them, but it's not like overwhelming, if that makes sense. Uh, is it Vildith or Vidith22? I've heard of him too. Never actually talked to the dude, but I've heard through the grapevine. He's a really cool dude, and I know he's got a good channel too. So, what's up from Maryland? I work as an EMT. I pass the time in between calls, listening to your podcast, or YouTube videos. Well, I appreciate that, Chris. You keep those those streets safe with them. Well, I guess you're not keeping them safe. I guess, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but keep doing what you're doing, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, Claudius, your shorts were badass, dude. And I, uh, I really enjoyed those because that's another, that's another thing that I'm missing out on that I really need to start capitalizing in the future. At some point, I probably want to hire somebody to like run most of my social medias for me and do shorts, put out shorts of like ep this episode coming out this week, and do like a minute of one of the best stories or one of the stories or whatever. And then, you know, I don't know. I just don't, I don't have enough time. There's not enough hours in the day for me to do all that. Plus everything else at home. And yeah. The only story is I can't stand is supernatural and monsters. They do nothing for me. Home, 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 Asian, home invasion and app stories hit me the most. Yeah. Everybody's got their, you know, their ones that they like the most for sure. Um, I think the only ones, there's not really too many, too many themes. I just don't like. Honestly, Swamp Dweller, hell yeah, Swamp, he's a cool dude, being scared, yes, he's odd to me, a delivery truck would show up at the wine store, I worked with with Black and Ad, I know Hetfield struggle with alcoholism, yeah, I feel like everybody's gotta have, you know, or even if they're not, like I know there's plenty of celebrities out there that don't drink, that push alcohol, you know, as weird as that is. But, I mean, I guess you're making money, so why not, right? Yeah, well, well I'm, I, don't, I don't think there's going to be a Paranormal episodes this month, but next month for sure, for sure. Steven, appreciate it, man. I hope you enjoy it. Don't go too far back because they sound like doo-doo paper the farther back you get. Creepy tales, chilling scares, street light terror. I've heard of street light terror, too, that ringing bell. Nighttime spooks, yeah. He's good, too. I do blew up, man. I like the missing person perspective thing you did about the trucker guy. Yeah, those that was so that was such a good story, man. I really and, and that's all again. That's all Zach. Like, I know Mr. Ballin did a story about that. So I felt not weird, but like I, I assumed people were going to complain because it's the same story. So me and Zach kind of like talked back and forth and I was like, well, let's do a different perspective. Let's find like witnesses from the scene and do stuff like that. And he came up with the whole format and definitely delivered. So malevolent mischief is coming up too. I haven't heard of them, but I'll tell you another one that's huge that blew the fuck up, man. And like he started his channel not long before me. And he's he's kind of like the new New Age Mr. Nightmare is Chilling Scares. Is it Chilling Scares? I think it's Chilling Scares. Um, hold on. Let me double check that. I'm almost positive it is. I need to put some more music back on, too. Give me one second. Um, here we go. Let's put this on, if it'll play. Breeze Prey. Yeah, there we go. And I just accidentally exited out of it. Dumb, dumb. So dumb. Okay. Let me find Let me find what that guy's name is. I'm almost positive it's Chilling Scares, but... Yeah, it's Chilling Scares. Yep. <clears throat> Mortis Media, yeah, he's a cool dude, dude. I've talked to him before. I don't know if I've ever collabed with him, but I'd love to. Um, 
morale is good to the wind if money is good enough. <laughs> Morals good to the wind. Yeah, you're right. Claudius is on the case. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you right now there, Nip. The further you go back, the more awful it sounds, brother. It's it's bad. It's cringe. Cringe with a capital C. Paranormal stuff doesn't keep my interest because I've never had any experiences like that. So I'm just like, yeah, okay, bud. Yeah, that's... I will... I will agree with you there. Um, a lot of the paranormal stuff is just... I don't know, man. You gotta really have a good one. Because a lot of them are the same exact same story. And I feel like that's that's another issue that I've had with paranormal. And maybe that's why not very many people like them on my channel. Because they're... You know, they're a little, they get a little stale really quickly. And that's why even if themes don't do well on my channel, I'm going to continue to do everything because I've watched channels and had people tell me before too, like, Hey, this is what happened to me because, uh, paranormal stories did super well on my channel. So I kept doing them. And then all of a sudden that's all I'm doing. So like Papa scare is the one who told me that. Cause he does mostly paranormal stories on his channel. So that's like, he does do like variations of it, but he, it's pretty much strictly just paranormal. And I didn't want to pigeonhole myself and only do one theme, you know, because that's a surefire way for me to get bored and for it to get stale. Uh, four strangers and native American stories. Yeah. Those are really good. Anything deep woods and I'm in, I'm in. How about something like sounds too crazy to be true? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. I did a, I can't, me and Zach came up with an idea not that long ago called like the I Survived stories. And it didn't really do that well. But the stories that were on that episode, I really liked. I was kind of hoping that it was going to do better, but it didn't. Chilling Scares has some good clips. Yeah. Love the Urbex stuff. Yeah. Hell yeah. That dude is, like I said, he blew up and he's got some really good, really good episodes. And that's an, like I've, I've talked about it and hit on it a little bit before, but that if there is another thing that I'm missing out, not really missing out on, but missing is doing stuff like that with visuals, you know, and like videos to accompany the stories or pictures to accompany the stories and stuff like that and true crime and stuff like that. Because the personal experiences and Reddit and stuff like that, that's fun and it's enjoyable, but I can see how it would get not necessarily stale. It's just like, man, I'm not scratching all those itches that I'd like to. Midnight Stories has a smooth voice like yours. Well, nice. Nice. Does he do ridiculously bad accents like me too? Chilling Scares, Mr. Nightmare, Darkness Prevails, yes. Well, we got two Amy's in the chat. You guys have to duke it out. Battle. Uh, Chilling Scares is the only channel that gives me true goosebumps and anxiety. Yeah, for sure. I can see why. It's 8.50 p.m. here in Idaho and freezing. Yeah, I know, man. It was so nice out, like, earlier this week here. And then last night, we had, like, a crazy storms roll through. And the temperature just, like, plummeted. Night shift ones. Once you work a night shift, they feel so really. Yeah, I've worked third shift before, and it's awful. And there's a reason why I didn't do that very long. You want to watch Coffee House Crime? I've never heard of that. If you're in true crime, it's a cool channel. I'll check that out, though. I'm always, I'm always looking for more stuff to consume channel-wise. I always tell my friend about the delivery ones. She does DoorDash, and she's always like, oh, yeah. Yup. Hell, yeah. What's up, Zach? How you doing, brother? Uh, Thanks, man. Jensen just finished the loop you're seeing right now and that intro for me today. I'm really, I'm really leaning into that whole PS1 theme and kick right now, and I feel like it's gonna be. Uh, I'm hoping it's gonna stick. You should translate. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Nib, Dwindy, Dwindy stories. They're all in Latin. Uh, I'd have to pay, probably find somebody or pay somebody to translate those for me. I'm sure those would be wild though. Late night shift stories, yeah. Night shift stories always do super well, and I always enjoy them. Urbex and night shift, yeah. Urbex are fun. I love Urbex stories. Y'all watch you um you ever watch um what is his name? Urbex Hill. 
I watch his channels all that a dude that has like balls of steel. I don't know if I'm I'm sure most of you probably know who I'm talking about. And if you don't go watch his videos, that dude is wild. He'll just walk into abandoned buildings. There's one one video I not I watched not that long ago where there's like literally people like that are probably there's whacked out of their minds, like probably just shot up and they're like literally three or four people just racked out, laying on fences and stuff outside of this building. And it's literally the thumbnail and he walks inside and still checks out the building. I'm like, this dude is fucking crazy. I'm in Northeast Florida and it's 90s with humidity. Oof, that humidity though. <clears throat> How windy chills. Walking absolutely hurting the back and forth. But yeah, back and forth is awful. Just pick a lane, Mother Nature. If you're going to be warm, stay warm. If you're going to be cold, stay warm or stay cold until you're ready to be warm. You know, that's how I feel about it. Read the subtitles to the stories in your voice. You have that soothing hair. <laughs> Heroin addict voice. All right. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Mar, how you doing? Welcome. We're all having a gay old time. Uh, Eris, no, who? Mana. No, he's Canadian. Who's Canadian? I missed that. All right, Peter. Pie or cake? Hmm. That's tough. I'm not. I'm not really a sweets person either. I'm more. I'm definitely more savory than sweet. I'll definitely go for seconds before I will dessert. But when I do get dessert, I probably choose pie. Where are you? Where are you, Nip? I am in... Right now, I'm currently in my closet. Where my quote-unquote studio is. Half-assed studio. I have plenty of creepy nighttime work stories. I have work at a courthouse government center. Yeah, Melissa. Send those in. Find the... There's a... Every video, at least probably over the last three or four months... In the descriptions, it's like drive through theater or drive through media, I think, is the, the email to send to Zach. If you can, write them up, send them over. 420, I'm in. 270 last week's no day. I know. Mother Nature is, is on one right now, I'm telling you. Steak or lobster? Why not both? I don't know, man. That's, that's really tough, too, because I love, 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 love seafood. Pie is liquid cake. Yeah. Uh, who's the best female horror narrator? My favorite horror narrator, female horror narrator is, um, oh my God, Amanda Jane from, uh, the darkest nights, darkest, is it the darkest nights? Wow. I cannot believe the darkest hour. I'm dumb. Darkest nights, darkest hour. Yeah. She's fantastic, dude. I don't, I don't know how she doesn't have like a million subs for real. The midnight stories guys, Canadian. Oh, okay. Is that his name, Midnight Stories? You're guessing Ohio. Um, no, New York. You talk kind of fast. Yeah, Rhode Island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from actually from Boston. I've been hiding my accent the whole time. I'm actually from, from London. Uh, definitely American muscle. I want the... I have a bike now, but... Or a bike again, but if I could have another, like, toy, as in car, I would want... I would want the, uh, the Impala from Supernatural. Or, I love... I want, like, a really, like, a 60s, um, C10 truck. Really bad, too. You're, Sarah, you're from Boston. Well, I apologize for that bad Boston accent. Sam is his name. Sam is his name, and horror narration is his game. Yeah.
Is a hot dog a sandwich? I think so. Amy's probably going to give some elaborate reasoning to it, but I'm sure she thinks it is. She seems like a hot dog sandwich kind of gal. I watch Fallout yet? No, but I've heard it's really good. Um, there's, I'm so behind on television and movies and stuff in general, man. People are always like, have you watched this yet? And I'm like, no. I'm still like re-watching shit that I don't need to re-watch. I need to like watch good stuff. I actually just... This is almost embarrassing to admit, but if you've watched it, you'll completely understand why. I just finally finished Supernatural probably a month ago because I fell off so many damn times because that show did not need to have 21 episodes a season because 90% of it is filler. And it would just get like, damn, dude. Do I really need to watch all this? Um... Hey, booze, what are your thoughts on the cryptid stories? I I don't put very many eggs in that basket. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say it. I'm into them. I think there are some of them out there that they can have a little bit of credit to them. But at the same time, there's just so much that goes over my head that I, I lose interest so quickly that I don't know. Great taste. I'm a Pontiac man myself. Hell yeah. Dude, there's some badass firebirds out there hey y'all amy a hot dog is a sandwich it basically is megan how you doing you ever watch true detective is that the one that's on um hbo max i recently just watched the very last season of like the one and then i restarted it if we're talking about the same one with woody harrelson and matthew mcconaughey Hot dog is not a sandwich. Do you like Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's a classic. New season of Invincible. Definitely haven't watched that. Gave up in season 10. It's it's a lot, man. It, it really, really is. The ending was good. I won't give any spoilies, but it was, it was a lot, man. It took a lot to get there. True Blood. Never watched True Blood either. I have a 68 C tuned sale well, <laughs> yeah well i can see why cindy in athens georgia cindy thanks for stopping by it's a strange comfort in re-watching all our favorites but strange sadness with the nostalgic handcuffs so true mr catholic so true that's why i've watched like the office a billion times just like three eggs yeah just three eggs bribes mariba Oh, I thought you were talking about I thought you were talking about a show. I was like, what is that? Okay. Fallout's pretty good. I'm watching show uh yeah, I really need to watch Shogun too, man. I I've heard fantastic thing about things about it, and that's definitely right up my alley. I still haven't even watched um why am I blanking what it's called? The House of the Dragon, which is ridiculous because I'm I'm a Game of Thrones fanboy burning art as of late oh, okay true detective series one is epic is that is that what you're talking about i think zach is that the true detective thing that's on hbo i am a 90s kid through and through i was born in 1990 so i'm about as 90s as you can get like the new Beavis and Butthead, but you can't beat the original. Hell no. The OG is just the OG. Robots Love and Death. Is that... What is that? Is that a show? Is that a movie? Oh my god, I'm not watching Community either. That show is... Not funny. I'm sorry, Amy. Sorry to disappoint. I tried. I really tried. My coworker is like, dude, if you like The Office, you'll love Community. It's so funny it's even funnier just watch it and i gave it like five or six episodes and i was like okay i'll really try and i did not laugh for five or six episodes and i was already out I was out seinfeld a gazillion times but never the final <laughs> nice yeah seinfeld's good too man it's just like that comfort food type of tv you know like i'm that way with 
The Office, Friends, How I Met Your Mother, Cheers. Um, yeah, I'm actually rewatching Breaking Bad right now again too. I've been see like that's what I'm doing in my free time when I do have time when I'm like feeding my daughter. Or, like instead of watching a new show, I'm rewatching stuff. I think it's because my life is so hectic all the time that I have zero time to commit to a new show to the point where I can actually sit down and pay full attention to it you know can't miss anything because by the time the kids are in bed I'm like okay well I'm gonna sit down and watch something like it's just too much of a commitment as dumb as that sounds do you have any animals I have a cat a cat also Okay, yeah, I need, I started, I think I watched three or four of those episodes and some, I didn't go back, but I'll go back and watch that because it was really good. What is a tamale? Is it one its own food? Because I'd say a hot dog is more like a tamale. Dude, a tamale sounds really good right now. You're rewatching Community because you think it's good and your mind is constantly playing tricks on you. And it's actually telling you that this show is not good, this show is bad, but we're going to watch it one more time in, in hopes that maybe it gets better, but it, it never will. Same boat, watch the old shit. It's just good. Oh, yeah. I think Better Call Saul is just as good as Breaking Bad. If not, maybe even better. As wild as that is to say. It's just... I was thinking it's the actors, the comedy, like... And I, I don't have, like, this... I don't know, like, super far-fetched sense of humor. Like, I have a very dry humor, very childish humor, and, you know, the awkward stuff. Like, I think that's why The Office so much, the cringe type of humor. Like, that really gets me. Do what? I want to say your videos and let's read are my go-to notifications landslide appreciate that buddy let's read is there any topics you can think of that I haven't done that I should do because I, I know I'm like kind of brainstorming right now for next month to, for topics to send to Zach and I always like to throw one or two in there that I haven't. Like, I'm excited for next week because we're, doing, we're going to do cold case-like stories, and I've never done that before, so I'm, fingers crossed that does well. I bought Let's Read Mertz because he could have put his cat on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pradeep, is that, is that his name? I, I love dogs, I do, but I just don't have the time. We don't have, like, a, a fenced-in backyard or anything like that either so it's just not the right time for a dog eventually i want to get a dog but right now cats are just super low maintenance and that's why i've always loved cats is because they they're very much like me very independent keep to themselves scurry out to eat drink and then fuck off you know you should watch toast of london with matt barry hilarious toast of, what's that streaming on Whenever I start the TV show. That's so true. That's so true. So very relatable. Airbnb. Or, yeah, I, I think I've done Airbnb. I think I have. It's been a long time, though. I need to, I need to rekindle that flame. Former besties. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love road and trucker stories. Uh, same cats are the best you have seven good lord that is a lot of cat food and that's a lot of cat poop cat poop you will eat the cat poop parks and rec is good too speaking of that well that's not that's anchorman but you know what i mean swimming pool stories okay dmv horror stories oh god yeah i can i could share some dmv horror stories I'm just walking into that fucking place left shoe horror stories absolutely I love um, all the uh, Danny McBride, like, Righteous Gemstones. Show's hilarious. Um, what's it called? Uh, oh, my God, with him and Walter Goggins. Um, Vice Principals, Eastbound and Down. 
so good. <laughs> but kids are in need of chores. Well, there you go. There you go. I just looked out my window, and there's an old guy standing outside facing my window directly, and I almost shat until I saw he was just letting his dog sniff my driveway. There you go. <laughs> right. Write it up, send it in. That's a good one. I'll read it. <laughs> What's up, beef? <laughs> That's such a good name. Uh, maybe Uber Stories re Repo. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that one. There's got to be some good repo stories out there. Trap House. Ooh, Trap House. That's just, I, I'm just going to put sick beats on there for 47 minutes if I do a a trap house story stories bad neighborhood stories that's not a bad one either beef what about chicken nathan for you haven't heard of it don't know what that is i feel like me and amy share a lot of the same type of sense of humor so i probably would like it just not community what's up nathan for you what's that what's that on your voice is the best in the category of channels did you ever Formal radio or anything. No, never done radio or anything like that. Been told by family and friends that I have a good voice. Not right now, Bubs. Um, but yeah, here we are. Like three, almost three years ago, I decided to start a channel, thinking that nobody would listen, and I guess here we are now. Late to live, Jamie. It's okay to be late. Late's better than never. Mm. Favorite Thrasher villain? Oh. My favorite, probably Michael Myers. Honestly, can't really beat the classics. My favorite classic horror movies are definitely the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre or the original Halloween. And I'm also a big sucker for found footage movies, even if it's shitty. <laughs> I ain't no chicken. You still using my phone? Jensen? Okay. Must be a good dog. Those cats don't listen. Yeah, cats don't listen. As long as they tell you have a good... And start for... Yeah, they start saying for, for face for radio. It is time for new friends. It would be funny if you had that voice in the second grade. Yeah, I, I, I... From what my mom told me, I've always had like a super deep voice, even as a kid. Probably obviously not this deep, but... I remember my mom saying that, like, people would always ask, oh, does he have a cold? And she's just like, no. He just, his voice is that deep. I think it's on Hulu. If you like awkward, I do like awkward. So what is it again? Nathan? Nathan for you? Yeah, I probably need to write that down on a sticky note. Old man brain. I love quarantine. Then it came true because less scared. Yeah. Yeah, True. Nice. Got a good old tad of Mike Myers. Michael Myers, um, the spy who shagged me, or Michael Myers, the killer. Worst day of my life stories. That's not, I mean, there's got to be some good ones with that, too. <laughs> for sure. I could have some of those. I could add some of those, for sure. You definitely one of the tops. You have a ninja uniform. I appreciate that, near JT. I'm glad it came in handy for something, right? A horrible movie called Baskin? I have not. Is that a horror movie? Or just a shitty movie in general? Stop sure. Ex military. Good T voice. I was I was a G.I. Joe at one point in time. I got out in 2014. 2014. Yeah, just remind me there, please, because I will forget. I think Beef was my favorite season one show and doesn't need. Oh, man. That was a really good show. Beef on Netflix. There's also, what was that show called? Um, that's on Hulu. It was really good about. Um, had John Bernthal in it um, about the guys that open up a restaurant. That was really good. I think they're coming out with season three now. Something like that. Sorry, I'm late. Just finished watching Late Night with the Devil. 
What is somebody saw, said that mentioned that earlier? Is that a new horror movie or is that a TV show? The Wailing is a good movie. Beef says beef is a good show. So you know it is. Greasy Strangler. Uh, I can't say I've heard that either. The Bear. Nip, you got it. Well done. The Bear, the Beef, the Chicken, the Pork. want to watch that, but I'm not paying. I know at one point in time, I'm like, fuck that. I'm not paying for cable or not cable, but like dish and stuff like that. I'm not paying a hundred and some dollars a month. And now I just pay a hundred and some dollars a month for 30 subscriptions. So it's a movie on Shutter. What are you doing, man? You getting tired? Yep. Not yet. Just go lay down right there. Go get a blanket and lay down. Okay. Both. I'll tell you, I'm trying to think if there's any recent horror movies that I've watched that I've enjoyed, and at least not newer ones that I can think of. Police and EMT stories are always good, but they're also usually depressing. Yeah, that's true. They never do good on my channel either. Every time I've done an EMT or like first responder or police stories they never do well not sure why they're always good though i enjoy doing them you can do anybody got anybody got any green they got that flower you got that mary joanna you can do walmart stories they don't even need to be scary yeah that's very true walmart is pretty pretty terrifying nowadays Bootleg, never paying for streaming again. Yeah, I know. I I do that for all the UFC fights. Perfect blue. The first time I was properly shook. Is that where's that streaming at? Shutter, Hulu. I'm trying to think of the name of that. I think it was called like Barbarian. I watched that movie not that long ago, and I think it's been out for a while. But it was the first time I'd seen it, and that was that was really good. Nip with the two. I dig it. I dig you, Nip. Let me get a nip. Would you? Could you? I was going to read a story, but I don't know if I really feel like it. I think I'm just kind of cool of chatting, if you guys are. Kind of. I read a bunch today, so my voice is already heading that direction. <laughs> yeah. Roommate, yeah, I still my roommates, aka my mom, still live with my mom. I'm in, I'm in her basement right now. My about to start my rap career soon, and one of these one of these hits, one of these is gonna is gonna take off soon, and I'll finally get to move out. If you had to choose one color of food for the rest of your life, what color would it be? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, I don't know, man. I love vegetables. So, like, my go-to choice would be green. But I'm not, like, a vegetarian. Love me some meat, beef, chicken, pork, all of it. I don't know. That's tough. That's really tough. I guess I would just say green. Fuck it. Chitty chatty all the time. Let's chitty chat. I judge it's a bad habit trying to change upgrade from I don't smoke but I do dabble in the gummies because it is recreational recreationally legal here so brown get that brown PA nip panip your mom's tired of stomping on the floor from upstairs. Get you quiet. Yeah, I know. She's constantly... I She's usually stomping, and I take a broom handle and just, you know, hit the top floor. She's like, Mom, stop. I'm trying to record my raps. Booze, I wrote your name in my death notes. Right on. Right on. Thank you for that. 
Green eggs and ham. Green eggs and spam. I will fully cop to... I can't do, like, the full-on THC shit, though. Because that's why I don't smoke, because it does the exact opposite of what I want it to. It doesn't calm me down. It makes me paranoid, but paranoid and anxious. So I take the gummies that are, like, half CBD, half THC. So it, like, counteracts itself so I can kind of get high, but not be, like, overly paranoid and anxious the whole time. Because it would just it just kind of defeats the whole purpose, obviously. I still still enjoy a good drink. Don't do it, obviously, like I used to, but... Claudius, she hasn't yet, and she won't. She just messaged me and said that she's not going to. I've been thinking about getting stoners get irritated when they don't stoke. Yeah. I used to... A lot of my, a lot of my friends still smoke and stuff like that but I mean it's, it's cool with me I don't give a shit you know ain't bother me none it's just not for me taking a sabbatical all you yeah I mean that's a good way to uh, not be as expensive and get higher faster I guess I'm not really a 420 blaze it kush king type of guy but if you like it, you like it, you know? Amy gets high on life. That's not a bad that's not a bad way to do it either. I'm trying to think of uh Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. I lost my train of thought. What which remind me again, Claudius, what you're talking about. What is it a movie or show or or what? I need to like legitimately write this shit down so I can come back later and be like, oh yeah, we talked about that and I need to watch this. Can't drink do the di diabetes. Well that's I mean that's one way to do it, man. It is. Smoke them if you got them. Is that what the is that what the saying is? Indica all day. We out here getting stony baloney, bro. How do you prepare, get ready for telling stories? What do you do? I I should have a routine, but I don't. Like, I really... The only routine I have is, like, finding a time when my house is quiet. Obviously. Which is still really hard to do. And I live really... I live really close to a train tracks, too. So, like, every, like... 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes more. There's always a train rolling through and I have to stop. Do that. Wait. Wait. Sativa is a manic paranoid anxiety. Yeah, well, I'm not sure which strain I used to smoke, but that's definitely what it was doing to me. Definitely what it was doing to me. Some people can just smoke it up, man. Not have any issues, but I'm unfortunately not that person. I actually don't. I don't. I don't like the the smell either, at all. Don't like the smell. It's almost like cigarettes too, or just like lingers. It's not as bad as cigarettes, but caffeine is my is a weakness of mine too. So I feel you on that. You used to get drained with Red Bull. You get smashed, but don't pass out. Yeah, I'm kind of. I used to drink. What are those called? I don't know why I'm I'm blanking. Red Bull and Jaeger. Was it Red Bull and Jaeger? Jaeger bombs? I think it was. Or yeah, whatever. Ah, uh, thank you, Sarah. Appreciate it. I'm glad my again glad my voice came to get used for something, right? I'd rather get caught in a sketchy situation in the middle of the forest or an abandoned building. I think I'd rather take the forest. Even though you're a lot more isolated. Would you rather eat an entire watermelon, including the seeds, rind, and everything, or drink a pitcher full of corn dog batter? 
I think I'll take the corn dog batter. Why? I don't know. Because I guess I'm heathen. Thank you, Kristen. Appreciate it. Rice energy drinks there is amazing. I think I've seen those somewhere. I really like the ghost energy drinks. Those are really good. I hate the smell. I have patients and their families that smell like they smoked on the way in. The whole room feels like a contact high. Yeah, it's it's not it's not my favorite at all. At all. So I get it. Instead of isolated game, what are they? That's <sighs> That's a good idea, Nico. I'll have to uh It's okay, Nib. You're 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 typing like I talk most of the time. If I was reading a story right now, I'd be probably fumbling over over every word and getting irritated. Because that happens a lot, too, where I get so pissed off at myself for not being able to read that I'm like, okay, I need to go take, take a break and walk away. Where do you get the stories? Um, Zach. Uh, Zach Graham. He's got books out. Good writer. And uh, we recently connected on Reddit. Yes. And then uh, ever since, he's been finding stories for me. So I and I uh, couldn't be happier that we connected and are doing what we're doing because I don't think I'd be growing and having good stories right now if it wasn't for him. So Kai Car, thank you. Sorry if I mispronounced that. All right, I'm heading now. Have a good night. Just going to click a bunch of buttons for your numbers. <laughs> Thanks, Nip. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night, man. I don't know, Aaron. I don't know, man. I'm. Oof. I can barely even form sentences sometimes without reading, without fumbling over words. So it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Which cryptid or urban legend do you think most likely to be real? Oh, I don't know. That's tough. Urban. I don't know, man. I, I feel like. Urban legends, they have to start somewhere, right? There has to be some story at the very beginning that started it all. So, whether or not they were really actually something or not, obviously is hard to tell, but they have to start somewhere, right? And then, obviously, that once they change hands so many times and get told tons and tons of times, more and more gets added to it, but... Who do you got, Drake or Kendrick? Um, probably, probably Kendrick. Yeah. Drake's fine, but I haven't listened to Drake since I was like super young, younger. So I'll say Kendrick. I missed all this. It's okay. You didn't miss much. Just a bunch of people talking and me rambling and talking about random stuff and making bad jokes and doing awful accents getting bad TV recommendations from Amy you didn't miss much I don't know if I'm Bigfoot why are the pictures of Bigfoot always so grainy even nowadays you know same way with like ghost videos and stuff like that people like having ghost paranormal encounters why, like, why are you why are you, uh, why are the pictures always so bad? The video is always so blurry and grainy. I would bet on skinwalkers, and unfortunately, the stories are the ones that scare me the most. There's, I've heard some pretty, pretty scary skinwalker stories. I remember listening to a few from Corpse Husband a long time ago, and, uh, yeah. Spooky. <laughs> yeah, thanks. They are taking on a potato. 100%. I would be on Skinwalkers and Bigfoot because they started somewhere and Native Americans spoke on them. Yeah, I mean, give credit where credit's due. I mean, that's that shit is scary, though. 
I've heard of Skinwalker Ranch. I've watched episodes on it about people talking about it and stuff like that. And that sounds like a pretty wild place. I was in junior high when the Secret Service knocked on my door saying they had me take videotapes of the President George. For real, George? What did they look like? Men in Black, was it Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones? The rule when getting paranormal footage is it must be grainy. The camera automatically just... <laughs> I think so. I think that's just like the standard across the board is, all right, ghosts, let's get the shitty potato camera. Uh, before you start, before you start doing what you're going to do, let's make sure that we can get this in nice and grainy and moving and blurry. Okay, sounds good. All right, go. Curse of the Skinwalker Ranch. I have not watched that one. I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't think that paranormal stuff isn't real. I definitely believe in it to a certain extent I've had some weird shit happen to me when I was a kid so I have part of me wants to believe it I just think that there are more there's more bullshit out there than there is like true stuff which honestly unfortunately kind of you know dilutes the the real stuff because of all the bullshit that's out there and the fabricated stuff like ghost adventures and stuff like that Aaron, yo, 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 what up, man? Oh, I see Pip talking about it, and I laugh my ass off because they're so wrong. Uh, yeah. Like wrong as in believing it or disbelieving it? Do you believe? I definitely believe in aliens, 100%. I almost believe in aliens half the time more than I believe in cryptids and paranormal stuff. Stickman? What's what's Stickman? I don't even know if I've heard of that. If I was a ghost, I would fuck with people. I would just do mildly inconvenient things. Like misplaced keys. One of your shoes. Take the straws out of your drink. Uh, hide all your toothpaste. But leave your toothbrush. Leave. Take all of your toilet paper except for one tiny little ply. Um, leave the water running. Stuff like that. Where do I submit my story? I don't do Reddit. Um, let me just get... I'll get it for you. Really quack. Quick quack. Just stay right there, okay? Don't move. Hold. Hold it. Don't go anywhere. Just stay right there. Email. Email. Peter. You're all right, Peter. Here. Wait. There you go. Email. Right there. All right, let me go back up. They were matching suits. It was crazy. Um, you like thrash metal? Hell yeah! I listen to like literally every, almost every type of genre of music. Man, it just depends on what kind of what kind of mood I'm in. Kai Car, thank you for the one ninety nine. Definitely didn't have to do that, man, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think the paranormal energy is used on there, which affects the digital devices. Yeah, I mean, it's it's possible, you know, but it's just so, I get too many, too many fake shit, but, but I believe it because I, I'm, yeah, a hundred percent Kelly. I mean, I'm not disparaging or doubting you had your own experiences because I believe there's a lot of truth and a lot of people out there who have experienced shit, but unfortunately for you and people who've experienced it. I feel like those mainstream people like Ed and Lorraine Warren and people like that, and ghost adventures and stuff like that, just it, it's turned it into an almost a joke. <clears throat> there has to be aliens because we're not being the only ones. Yeah, 100%. I feel the same way. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I just meant they, oh, I've been there. They haven't had security. You can't even get close. Or people say, I saw this. And they're, no, they didn't. Because you can't go there. Oh, I mean, true. Yeah. It's kind of like, almost like Area 51 type of shit, I'm assuming, right? Andrew recently discovered this channel after YouTube Algo recommended it. Because I also listened to Darkness Prevails and Red Sleeve. Great narration. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks for stopping by, too. 
K-pop is Boo's favorite music. You, you're, you're damn right. It's good stuff. Whenever I'm showering, I'm always listening to some K-pop. Your screen makes me feel like I'm a toy in Sid's room about to be disassembled. Speaking of Sid's room, just you wait. Just you wait. I can sh I can show you the world. If I can pull this up, hold, hold on, stay right there. Don't move. If my computer stops being a piece of shit, oh, maybe that maybe this will work. Maybe if I can find it. Go back in the way back machine. Dun 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 dun. No, that ain't it. That's not it. Where'd you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? I do. Y'all ever dance to that in a high school dance? Cotton Eye Joe? Do the. Cupid Shuffle, maybe? Left foot, left stomp. Right foot, left stomp. Freeze! Where the hell is this thing at? Oh, there it is. Only took like 14 years for me to find it. <clears throat> Alright, let me go back up here. You should check out the lowest creature. They sound like Power Trip. All right, I'll check them out. I got the munchies. I'm going to go get lasagna. <laughs> Dude, beef. That's what's up, man. Have a good night, man. Go eat yourself some lasagna. Thanks, Aaron. Really love and enjoy your content. I'm a subscriber at MIT. Sir, your content is a stress buster for me. God bless all these. Thank you, man. I would pronounce your name, but I know I'd mess it up, so... Sorry. Not even going to try, but thank you. Blackpink is really... What's Blackpink? We have this thing here called... Phenomicon. What's, what's Phenomicon? Is it Phenomicon? One of the cats is about to have kittens. She waited for 420, so obviously need 420. Mary Jane, Green, help. No Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> um, hold on, let me think of a good name. I'll come back to you. I'm going to go see the obituary cannibal corpse in Amon. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good old corpsey. He does got that music nowadays, right? Cotton Eye Joe comes down, I root my root beer and get down. You have to. No matter what you're doing, whether you're working, sleeping, jiving, showering, pooping, Cotton Eye Joe comes on, you get down. Blackpink or K-pop, okay. Got you. Ooh, Necrocopion. My two of my buddies went and saw um Dragon Force and somebody else the other night. And they asked me to go because the other guy bowed out, but I was like, dude, I can't do that. It's a Sunday night. I don't have the type of lifestyle anymore. I can be spontaneous. Amy actually just turned... What is it? 52, right? 52, 53, something like that. Should make videos on war horror stories too. Yeah, I wish... I wish I could get more of them. I have one from a long time ago. I think that's it. Skinwalkers, Bigfoot, paranormal speakers and such. Just a paranormal con. Okay, cool. That sounds like fun. I'd love to go to that. Have a good night, Aaron. I'll see you out there. Apparently, they told me it was really good. Um, I'm trying to remember the names of the other bands that they went to, but that's like my getting out of the house type of thing nowadays is really only concerts and comedy shows and that's about it obviously I'll still like go out and hang out with my friends occasionally and stuff like that too but 
getting out of the store or getting out of the store, getting out of my house. It just doesn't happen very much. Love the story you did on the Zetas. That was insane. Yeah, that was a really fun. That was a fun one. It really was. I'd like to do more of those. Dude, you're older than the internet. You're right. You got me there. Father time, they call me. Father time. Brad Williams, nice. I want to go see him. I just saw Mar Mark Norman a couple of months ago. It was awesome. And I got tickets to go see Shane Gillis in June. So I'm looking forward to that. shows who are your favorite new and upcoming comedians um it's hard man there's so many there's so many good comedians out there i feel like the comedy scene is blowing up because there's so many good ones there's definitely quite a few that i still really want to see they're on like my bucket list shane gillis is gonna be up uh, gonna be crossing him off here soon thankfully i'm glad i got those tickets because i knew they're gonna blow up and be expensive as hell they already were but I want to go see Sebastian Maskelko. Yeah, hell yeah. He's good, too. Going to go see Kane Brown in concert. Hell yeah. 27-year anniversary. Congratulations. Holding it down for 27 years. That's impressive. Comedy makes life better. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. I've seen... You know, the last couple of years, I went and saw, like, the Bad Friends podcast... So I saw Mark Norman, saw Chris DiStefano, um, saw Joe Gatto. I really want to go see Sal at some point in time, too. Um, I still want to see Tom Segura. Uh, I don't know. There's just so many good ones. So many good ones out right now. I definitely want to go make it down to Texas and go to the mothership and see some comedy shows and or maybe even go see, like, a Kill Tony episode live uh, any more stories are really intense and scary which can really give heebie-jeebies anxieties watching them yeah I mean that's that's the goal that's the goal my guy Mateo Lane on YouTube is amazing for oh yeah Mateo's hilarious dude I grew up in Sweden Cotton Eye Joe was my entire childhood <laughs> yeah <laughs> well that's nice Anybody on that Compulserve DSI? What does that mean? You have to educate me here. I saw JB Ball open for Brad Williams. So good. Hell yeah. Comedy's so good, man. Those are like comedy, concerts, and food is like the really, like the few times where I just don't even care about money anymore and just throw it all at it and like, we're doing it. Louis CK? Yeah, absolutely. Natural Milk Honey and Zen Retreat. Keep up the great work, man. Thank you. You cre you keep up that natural milk and honey. You keep that up. Ed Bassmaster was here recently. He's funny as hell. Oh yeah, Uncle Joey. What are views on what are your views on Mr. Ballin? I love Mr. Ballin. He's top tier. Troy Band and this is it sweaty Pete Davidson? <laughs> Larry's new comedian, newish comedian. I'll have to check those out. I've never, I don't think I've heard of either of them. Compulserve DSL. Oh, dial up from the oh AOL. You've got mail. I can do the the dial up sound if you want for the next forty five minutes. Texas comedy club shows. I'm sure they are. Texas is is got a huge comedy scene that's just growing and growing on the on the reg nowadays so I definitely want to get down there and do that ASAP Rocky you know all right let's let's go back here dun 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 where'd that go 
just keep losing this shit, man. Episodes, no, that ain't it. That's not it, Peter. Oh, speaking of supernatural, how about this one? You want to cruise with Jensen? Did this one too? He's done a lot of these for me. What's your favorite booze? Um, probably whiskey. Don't drink it as much as I used to, but I definitely love it. I mean, will you cover more topics like murder mysteries or something like that? Um, maybe. It just depends. The weird connection, unfortunately, not really, I wouldn't say connection. Is there like a distinction to where people don't, they come here or they come to my channel to listen to like Reddit stories and personal stories like that. There's like this weird fine line between that and like true crime that it's really hard to straddle that line to where people are like, don't like it. Cause I did very early on in my channel. I tried to do too much at once and I even had people tell me not to do it, but I did a whole episode just, just on one topic, um, on the heaven's gate cult and it did not do well. And it hurt my channel a lot because people were like, this isn't what I'm here for. So it was like a, it was definitely a learning experience for me. Figuring out that, you know, trying to find that niche in this stay in my lane, so to speak. Screwball's good. Hell yeah. Um, specific, my, probably my absolute favorite is Buffalo Trace. It's just so damn good. I was bullet for a while and then once I tested, tasted Buffalo Trace. I haven't gone back. Mead is fantastic. Are you truly Greg? I'm old Greg. You ever drank Bailey's from a shoe? Yeah, you can't really get enough of the Deep Wood stories. They're just, they're so good. They're always good. Always going to be good. I'm always going to keep doing them. <clears throat> but I'm also like me and Zach are kind of figuring out how to intertwine and intermingle a little bit of true crime and stuff like that. Like the, I think it was the trucker stories episode about the guy that, you know, drove out into the, the woods out in, I don't know if it was Arizona or whatever it was when it had like the, the POVs from witnesses and stuff like that, where he was just like standing out there. That was pretty fucking creepy. That's that's that was a wild ass story. Where am I, Greg's place? <laughs> Want to see my downstairs mix up? Glad some people still remember that. Showing my age with that one for sure, right, Amy? <laughs> Lewis, what's going on? Yeah, trucker stories are good. They are good. I enjoyed those. And I will definitely continue to do those for sure. I don't think there's really too many topics that are I won't do. So. Listening to the wood stories and we planning a whole family camping trick. Told the hubs. Only place in that. I mean, that's true gotta you know stay strapped or get clapped you know keep that thing on me um my stage name i guess i guess most people just call me booze because it's easier than saying the full full thing thing you know and i guess i, I guess i'm good with that why not right i'll take it if not, you can just call me Amy. BB, yeah, BB, I see that too. Night shift stories and driving at night stories are definitely my favorite. Those are both good too. 
driving at night that's another one i'd like to do more of i don't do an do it often enough you know the road trip trucker stories desert stories spookiest would be cool to see you do some 4chan stories yeah that's the problem with 4chan is well obviously it goes without saying and i, I kind of reiterate it constantly but all the stories that are on my channel are all allegedly true because i can't there's no way to actually go out there and confirm or deny the validity of any of these stories and but take it for what you will you know but a lot of that shit on 4chan is super sus <laughs> tequila mockingbird that makes sense that fits would you prefer to be called booze or booze um booze boo booze just call me boobs I like the military stories yeah i want to do more of those at some point in the future too just got to find some good quality ones hold on one second potty break if you leave i'm sorry favorite home alone or night shift trucker love them all yeah i know me too i find your voice very soothing when trying to get some cp well i'm glad you do there lewis disturbing stories or something bad happened in real life for my taste a bit too much i do like mysteries with creatures cheers neo cheers to you as well <laughs> hey guys let's leave just pissing a gatorade bottle like a trucker i know piss jugs Trailer Park Boys, I'm like Ray. That's what I'll do. Ooh, karaoke. What kind of songs did you sing there, Tina? Would you sing at a karaoke bar? If I'm if I'm singing, cut me off because I'm hammered. I'll tell you that right now. Omen, thank you. I'm I'm happy to run the game for you. That was fast piss. <laughs> yeah, I do pee pee fast. That's that's what you can call me pee pee fast. Did I wash my hands? I I definitely didn't wash my hands. Whoops. I should have came back in and like screamed into the microphone. What about morgue, mortuary, funeral home stories? Oh, that That's a good idea. I think I did do some really, really long time ago. But as Stained once said, it has been a while. So, oh, yeah, if I'm, if I'm doing karaoke, it's probably some Creed for sure. Good choice there, Amy. You already know. I just found your channel like four days ago, and it's addictive. Well, I, I, thanks, buddy. If there's one thing to be addicted to, I guess this isn't too bad, right? You unsubbing. Oh, my God. You don't even wash your hands. And when you mispronounce that word back there, that was so ridiculous. Like, I can't believe you mispronounced that word. Ugh. 
Your best vid was the cartel and break-in stories, but that was just one video on the topic. Drug trafficking and smuggling stories. Yeah, those that's a good idea too. I really I really like that episode too. And it didn't do that well. Like, I mean, I was hoping that was gonna do well too, because it was a long, thick boy. Alex, thanks. Pee pee fast. That is me. And I love my video, or you love my videos good. Because I have to pee pee fast to make them. Yeah, I'd like to do more of them cartel stories. Your voice in karaoke, I hear, look at this photograph every time I do it, it makes me laugh. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Creed, or Stained, or Disturbed, or... What the fuck, Nickelback, you know? Just classics. Look at it, just look at it. Just look at it. Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me. What about are you are you guys Swifties? Amy's a Swifty. She's be swift with them Swifties. <laughs> yeah. Lots more foliage. Everyone's got me wanting to do here. You do care. I, maybe. Maybe one of those nights I'll just hop on here and I'll just yoke it up. I'll just yoke it up for you. I'll go. I'll just sing a whole Creed album from front to back. Then you'll all unsub. I'm definitely going to be doing more of those stealth camping videos. That was so much fun. That was probably one of my favorite episodes I've done in a while. Just because it was so different. I'm a swift pee pee, but not really a swifty. But she did. I did. I seen that she just did a song with old Posty. So. Post Water Malone. Oh, yeah. That's just coming of age music, you know? Like, I almost bought, me and my buddies almost bought tickets to go see Creed because they were coming pretty close here not that long. Well, this summer. And, I mean, we all know it's like kind of a meme at this point. You know, Creed and all that stuff is, is kind of a meme. And we all had that, like, conversation, like how much fun it would be and then we're like, you know, we'd probably laugh and have a good time. But then like three songs in, we're like, damn, we just paid and drove to a Creed concert, you know? I like to dust things. It's like satisfying. It's like, it's almost ASMR for me. The, so is vacuuming. When you hit those like crackles. You pick up something with some crackles, that sound is just like, oof, so good, so good. That's ASMR for me. Is YouTube your main job? It is now my main job. Main job, boy. Which is wild to think about. That I'm doing it for a living. We out here living. Mr. Booze, will you cover stories on urban legend or mysterious creatures in the woods? I would like to, if it fits the appropriate, you know, topic. And yeah, I mean, that's a good potential topic for the future. Hey, now, it's not Smash Mouth. I was just mopping. I was, I was moping while I mopped. You'd be throwing rice on your carpet on just for the satisfaction. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, that's it's such a good sound. I wonder if there's like a YouTube video of like 10 hours on loop of 
vacuum crackles. Because I would, I would listen to those. You should work with Kyle Hates Hiking. He has some boozy stories worth content. is in the story format. I mean, if he... If I re reached out to him or if he put it in story format for me, that would be ideal. I would take him. Crackles when vacuuming at my house. Cat treats. Ooh, cat treats. <laughs> um... This is a funny story. I don't know why it made me think about it, but uh, a while ago we were all at my friend's house. Like every other Saturday, I go over to my buddy's house and we play like video games and drink and just be dudes, you know. And my buddy's dog has like this stuff called Kong cheese, which like it's almost like the spray cheese, but he puts it inside this little ball, and his dog will like sit there and gnaw at it and eat it, you know constantly trying to get the cheese and stuff and my buddy didn't realize that it was dog cheese and he put it on his pizza and we're like and I remember my buddy's like you know that's dog cheese right he's like I don't care I'm like dude just ate fucking dog cheese on pizza <laughs> dude I looked it up vacuum crackles ASMR is it is it a thing is it a real thing because if it is I'll listen to that shit don't forget to mention your side hustle on OnlyFans under boobs and boobs. Oh, yeah. I post, like, side boob pics all there, on there all the time. Sometimes feet pics with, like, Cheetos between each one of my toes. Sometimes I'll take out, like, bowls of guacamole and just press my feet into it and put the mic right next to it. So just, like, like things like that. CD5, what up? Make some videos on school lockdowns, okay? Now, I, I would lock it down. For sure. <laughs> uh, you know, like the guac feet idea? Guac it like it's hot. Guac it like it's hot. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. On Pineapple Express, when he shoves his hands in that macaroni and cheese, that's so funny. Would you rather collab with Mr. Nightmare or Bee Busta? Probably. Probably Mr. Nightmare. B Bust is good too, though. He's a big boy. Big old thick boy. Been doing it for a while. No one will ever look at Guac the same. Probably not. Not even me. My feet look at it the same, but that's just them, you know? I, w <laughs> I wish there was a Guac emoji. That sucks that there's not. Oh, yes, those smuckers. Mm, yeah, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. I won't even go in it. You'll just have to go sub to my OnlyFans to watch. If you want to know. Amy's the one that brought it up, so you'll have to blame her. Dream on. Dream on. Ooh, yes. Please. <clears throat> Ooh, there's avocado though. You got him. You got it. What's the scariest story you've ever heard told? Um, that's hard. That's tough, man. That really is. I'm trying to think. There's been so many good ones that I've read over the years. There's another. There's one. There's one dude that I read like a couple of his stories where he was uh worked in Alaska. I can, there was there was forever ago when I read those, but he was like a worked on like a a drilling like an oil site or whatever they're called out in Alaska. He did a couple of those stories, and I don't know. There's just it's just always the people ones, you know, the fucking like the frogging stories where people are living inside their house and they have no idea things like that. I don't know. That stuff gives me 
it gets me track college frat party dorm stories that's a that's a good idea too uh, are you an atheist uh, I don't even know I don't even know I probably won't even go into it you know just because it's it's one of those things I don't know I worship uh, crackling ASMR vacuum videos. That's that's my religion. Peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter feet. Talia, bus stop juror. Thanks for coming. Have a good night. Go eat some guac with your feet. Stick your toe in there. College frat party dorm stories. Yeah, that'd be good. That is a good idea. Roommate stories, that's another good idea. Oil rig horror stories, that's another good one. You ever seen the movie Within? Yeah, that is a good movie. I am no shame in this. I mean I mean it's whatever whatever suits you. I, I don't I don't discriminate. You know, whatever your business is is your business. Spray cheese for feet. <laughs> yeah. I actually pick up the spray cheese with my feet and then like spray it onto crackers and stuff. I just remembered Impractical Jokers when he rubs that dude's feet with me. Oh man, that's so good. I love Impractical Jokers, man. You want to like see me like cry laughing? That's like my type of humor for sure. Ooh, yeah, shadow people stories. That's not a bad one either. Fisherman deep sea horror stories. Yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, you opened up this. You opened up this door, Amy. So you only have yourself to blame. So I'm, I'm taking it and ran with it. I can always start making the mac and cheese noises too, if you want me to, Amy. I know how much you love those. I'm so excited to see you live. Hi, I'm an avid watcher. What's up, man? Thanks for stopping by. Horror on the Cox. You still live? Hell yeah, brother. We're out here. Are you still live? Thanks for stopping by, though. Black Eyed Children. Ooh, I haven't heard an old Black Eyed Children story in a long time. Probably not since I listened to, like, No Sleep and stuff like that. Children. I'll be back lunchtime. All right. Have a good lunch. Get you some spray cheese. I am unalive. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? I don't... Hold on. Let me see if... I don't know why that doesn't show up. That's weird. Boarding school horror stories. That might be a good one. Yeah. I really like the... Not this, obviously, the episode that came out tonight, but episode a couple of days ago. The I don't know if you watched the program documentary on Netflix. I watched that and reached out to Zach and was like, hey, what about if we find you know a story about the Ivy Ridge? And he said he had a friend that he went to school with that went there. And so he like talked to him and interviewed him and got his story. And that was the first story on that episode the other day. Walk hard, hard down last rocky road, walk bold. That's such a good movie. Underrated as hell. I can't. We're friends. Waiting for my sanatorium submission to eventually get put in, put in upload. That shit was wild. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I definitely haven't read that one yet. I know Zach's probably got a big cache of fucking episode or stories at this point. I think we just did another, we did do another subscriber episode the other day. So I'm sure there'll be another one here in the near future and it'll be in there. Guacamole horror stories. Hell yeah. Mac and cheese horror stories. Chuck E. Cheese. Ball pit horror stories. That's another good one. Thomas, get to writing, my friend. Do it. Sub those in. Email them. 
<laughs> Do we? I've been halved. Wrong kid died. Dude, I, I still can't believe that we, like, played in that shit as a kid. Like, the ball pits. Because I've... I, it's been a while since I've been to McDonald's, but I remember going in there, like, my, my son wanting to play in there and just going in there and immediately being almost knocked on my ass from the feet smell in there. And it was like, how are people sitting in here eating when all I can smell is feet? That's a horror story in itself. Zach put my Honda house story in one, which was the same email, but y'all cut the ending. So I had to elaborate in the comments. I don't, I think I remember that one. But what part got cut out? Yeah, those pits are fucking PTSD for sure, man. Yeah, send them in, man. Dolphin man, send them in. Lost in the middle of nowhere. Car broke down in the middle of nowhere. That's another... I mean, you're, you're shouting out a lot of good ideas, man. You're giving me some good topics to put down for the future. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. You walk in that shit, and it's all you smell is feet. And there's, like, I remember, this was a couple years ago, but I remember being in there, and there was just, like, families just sitting in there eating. And I'm like, what? How how do you even have an appetite right now? And not only do I not want to be in here, but there's no way in the hell I would put anything near my mouth inside this fucking room that smells like pure, unadulterated feet. Sandboxes, oh yeah. I don't know. I I I think I'd I'd let my kid play in a sandbox before that, or at least I don't even I don't even know. Gross. Either way. Car broke down. Story. I have one from when I broke down to Topeka, Kansas. Send that in, Jake. Send her in. The part where the panel on the wall flew right into the chair I was sitting in at the time. I believe it was very anticlimactic as it presented. Yeah, sorry about that, man. I I just read them. I read them as I get them, you know. Uh, I read what's in front of me. But, I mean, it's still a good story. I still enjoyed it. I remember that story. DIY horror stories when building master backyard goes wrong. Oof, oof. That's, that's tough. <laughs> Hiding in people's abandoned house must be crazy. I always wondered how they ever got those balls cleaned from the nasty kids and germs. I don't think they, I don't think they cleaned them. They don't, they barely would clean the store. So there's no way there's nobody getting in there and, and doing that. Send it in. If you, if any of y'all got stories, send them in. I, I always need more for sure. Cemetery, 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 cemetery stories would be good. I would be down for that. Scary cemetery. Dog, my buddy came by and took his shoes off. I had to empty a bottle of Febreze to get the smell. It was like a wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oof. That I that is one thing I can't do, man. Stinky feet. I get that. Get that out of here, bro. Wash your feet. Master backyard. Can't go wrong with a good old master backyard. Yeah, go, go to McDonald's. Like, do you guys wash your balls ever? Are your balls washed? How long has it been since you washed your balls? Sorry, I I had intentions of of reading stories, but this is just so much easier. Bree, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh, basic training, stinky feet. Ew. Dude, there's so many disgusting motherfuckers in basic. Oh my god. Even just in the army in general. Like, I'm a pretty clean dude. I'm like almost like OCD in a sense, not full on or anything like that, but I'm I'm very I'm a very clean person and very neat person. So Seeing stuff like that and having to live in the same environment as that just gives me anxiety. Ew. 
Yo, Trey Slippy, what up? Favorite horror movie? Keep up the great content, brother. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Thanks for that. Four ninety nine. I'm gonna go spend that on Guac for my OnlyFans. My favorite horror movie, though. Ah, oh, that's that's a toughie. That's a toughie. Um, I I really like the classics. There's not too many new horror. Mo- I don't really like kill count horror movies. So like, you can. I like the older ones, so like the original Halloween, the original Scream, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original Friday the 13th, but once it starts getting into the weeds and it gets boring, I like, I'm more into the psychological thrillers and stuff that makes you think, or the only really shitty horror movies that I really like, and not necessarily even shitty, is just like, I'm a sucker for the shoulder, over the shoulder cam found footage stuff like Hell House, you know, Blair Witch. Things like that. Send them in there, CD5. I'm always needing them. I thought they made everyone stay super clean and hygienic in the military. Um, not to, not, I mean, it's a lot of it's on you, you know? Like, you figure it out. If the, the stinky ones would just catch a lot of shit. And you just keep your distance. Mr. Booze, you should make some videos on kidnapping or encounter psychopaths or serial killers. That's another good idea. Dude, you're full of good ideas tonight, man. I appreciate all of them. Ooh, yeah, full metal jacket. What's your favorite trash TV growing up and currently? Oh, man, I don't know. Trash TV, currently, I'm damn near obsessed with the whole 90 Day Fiance Uh Cause it's just so awkward and cringe and weird and uncomfortable. And it's like, it's so hard not to watch because it's so funny and uncomfortable. Like, and I never thought I would like it, but I'm in it. I'm all in all the spinoffs, all of it. So watch a few vids and pass out. See you, man. Keep up in your wig. Thanks, Tom, Thomas, Thomas M. Have a good night, bro. You should make a game channel with you playing horror games. I'd like to. Maybe sometime in the future when I actually have time to do so, I'll probably consider doing something like that. It would be, it would just be fun to play some games with friends and stuff like that, like Rocky and stuff, and get Derek in here and other narrators and stuff. We can all just play games together. I just saw a movie called The Boogeyman by Stephen King. It was really, really good. Uh, I don't think I've heard of that one. What about you? What's some of your guys' cringy, not cringy, but just trash TV that you watch? Oh, Love Island. I I think we watched, I watched, I definitely watched some of that, but I think I fell off. But 90 Day Fiance, oh my God, it's, it's consuming. It's so bad that it's good. Ghost Hunters was peak trash for sure. Ghost, Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventurers, all those, all those shows. Farmer wants a wife. Is that a real thing? Because if it is, I'll watch that tonight. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds like right up my alley. Zodiac with Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't think I've seen that either. Play Silent Hill. I, I love Silent Hill, especially the old ones, classic ones from like PS1. Milf Manor. Uh, I feel like I've seen it. Like I not actually watched it, but I've seen parts of it. Um, Mr. Books is a crazy, interesting psychological thriller. Definitely check that out. Those are right up my alley. I like the psychological thrillers. So I think one of the, one of the better horror movies or not even really a horror movie that I've watched recently over the last year, I think it was with the black phone. That was such a good movie. Like that's, that's my type of scary movies that I like or ones like that. Outsider series. Haven't watched that either. I'm sure it's good though. There's, there's so many I watched. What was that other one? Stephen King one that we watched not that long ago too. That was good. I can't fucking remember the name of it. So much. There's just so much that you can, you know, there's just like, there's too much to watch at this point. Sister seeking. I watched all of the uh, sister wives too. Yeah. Watch Farmer Once a Wife right now. What is that on, Amy? 
Gordy, not Jordy Shore. Jordy, is it Jordy Shore or Jorzy? Joyzy Shore? Silent Hill games are expensive. Pissed I traded a couple of the early ones during the mid. I can't play. Yeah, I know. It's insanely. It's crazy how those games and stuff like that you would think would never be sought after, or at least that kind of like um that kind of level you know for money and stuff like that i know when all the pokemon cards like had a resurgence i went to my parents house and was like looking up in the attic because my stepdad and mom swore that they saw them up there and so i was up there for hours looking for them because i remember i had this giant red binder full of them from the 90s and early 2000s and i'm like I'm sitting on a gold mine here and i, I still can't find them Do you plan on making any struckers? My favorite was chilling. You are the only one to listen to. Uh, Lawrence, thank you, my man. Appreciate that. I definitely will be doing more trucker stories. That one seems to get, uh, has has been pretty popular, and I enjoyed that one too. My wife watches Little People, Big World. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I've seen that one too. I want to see Abigail too. My, my buddy just texted us in the group chat tonight, said that him and his fiance we're going to the drive-in theater to see that tonight and i was like oh, i wish i could go but i can't not a horror movie just watch shogun not yeah i'm i'm definitely watching that one here in the near future too that's right up my alley i don't know why i haven't watched it yet did you have a did you have a chorzord yeah i had a holly graphic chorzord for sure catfishing horror story that's another good one I took the prices at some of my old Pokemon games. Yeah, it's wild, dude. It's crazy how much money that shit's worth nowadays. I'm sure you could find enough old school green sheet gone wrong stories for a video. I'm y'all are giving me some good video ideas for sure. For sure. I got all my 1980 Star Wars toys. That's you're sitting on a gold mine probably then too. Yo. Aaron, you should change your name to Drunkenness Prevails. That's a good idea. I might have to uh, rebrand, as they say. Hold on a second. Oh, God. Okay, I thought my, thought my daughter was awake again, but she's not. So which is your favorite sister wife? Oh, I don't like favorite as in like my genuine favorite or favorite as in like the most entertaining. I'm going to go see Sunday to get see Abigail. Yeah, I hope it's good. Let me know if it's good for real. And Jake, thanks for joining the tier, the buy me a beer tier, because uh, I still need to post something for you guys that are doing that. So I've only posted like two episodes. I had 10k worth of Pokemon cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! All meant foil first edition Dark Charger and gave them away when I hit my teens. Big regret. Ooh. Bad times, man. Bad times. Keep your NME. Keep your name. <laughs> Keep your name. <laughs> Rebrand. Same. We got a lot of the old Kenner stuff. Man, I... I wish I could find them. Mama Brittany, thanks for stopping by. Have yourself a good night. Go eat some guacamole. Stir some mac and cheese. I got another... No. I can't show it. Never mind. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it, Jake. Lewis, thanks for the hearty faces, brother. That's so sweet. Water Enjoyer. What's up? It is live booze. Booze is live. Probably going to cut it around midnight. My time. That's about 30, 40 minutes. Because I'm an old man. Like Rocky and... Derek called me old man booze. OMB. Because that is me. 
I'll be doing this late night shit too often. I en- I almost envy the people that can be night owls because I just don't have it in me anymore. <clears throat> have a good night, Jake. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good weekend too. Please make some videos on police horror stories. And, ooh, 911 dispatchers. That's another good one. Bree, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Remember, this channel is AI. It's all AI. Everything you see and hear is AI. And these stories are old. These stories aren't scary. And foliage, and I mispronounce everything. Scary stories to tell in the dark books? Hell yeah, dude. Those are those are like premium coming-of-age shit for me. I remember being a little kid scared out of my mind, sitting underneath my covers with a flashlight, reading those books, like scaring the shit out of myself, and I still couldn't put them down. I even got a tattoo of one of the book covers on my leg. Up a total night out, up until about 6, 7 a.m. every night. Well, good on you, man. I got a really close friend who's a fucking night owl, and he's always, like, text me at, like, 10 or 11 p.m., ask me what I'm doing if I want to go hit a bar up. I'm like, dude, no. I'm in bed, or I'm on the couch almost asleep. These stories are stories you've heard. I need to just title one of my episodes that, like, you've heard these stories, don't listen. Dolphin Man is back, everybody. What up? Thanks for stopping by. Again. I'm a night owl, but been trying to get my sleep schedule back and check with normal people lately. I was going to bed. Oh, my God. You are a night owl. It's 5.30 a.m. here. Oof. I'd still be ZZ topping it. Yeah, the movie was good. I thought they were going to make a second one, but it doesn't look like it. What is the best scary story to tell in the dark? I don't know. That one's, that's really tough too. I'm asking me all these tough questions. Like, my favorite, hmm, tell in the dark stories. It's probably... I don't know. Harold was good. Probably. Oh my gosh. I'm yawning. Yawning. I don't know. Harold or maybe the Wendigo was good too. The haunted house. What was the. Why am I blanking on the name of that one? My shift starts at 4.30 p.m., so I got a reason to go to bed early. (laughs) Gotcha. That makes sense. Can't do that crazy shit no more. um, As Danny Glover said in All the Lethal Weapons, getting too old for this shit. Logan, what is your favorite horror film? Probably just the... I'm a classical kind of guy. Classical. OG Halloween, OG Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What is the booze of choice? Buffalo Trace, 100%. Hell yeah, that was so top tier. Top tier, still top tier. I have them somewhere. I meant to reread them, but... Yeah, you can't really go wrong with... Old Steve King. I actually got to, went to Colorado last year. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the Stanley Hotel when I wanted to, but we didn't have enough time. All right, Francis. Have a good night. Go get some Go get some CPs. I'm probably going to be doing the same thing here real soon. Old Man Booze is old man in it. This is... This is a real rare treat for me to stay up this late. It don't happen very often. I went, when was it? 
last last May I saw Blink One Eight Two, and I went and stayed with one of my buddies and his fiance and a couple of other people. And after the concert, he wanted to take us downtown. And at first, it was really fun. Uh, we went to like an arcade bar, and it was fun as hell. And then. We were one, I think his fiance and my other buddy's wife was like, I want to go to a club and dance. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, this is like the last place I want to be. And I felt so awkward there because I just like stood at the bar and there's like all the young peeps out there jiving, getting down some trap house shit. And I'm just like sitting at the bar like, yep, this is not my scene anymore. And we stayed out till like three or four in the morning, and I definitely haven't done that since. Rudd, have a good night. Thanks for all the stories, uh, story suggestions. Nothing really scares me except for spiders. Absolutely terrified of those things. Yeah. I, uh, the only thing that really scares me to my two kind of like fears, quote unquote, you want to call it, is the ocean terrifies me and porcelain dolls I don't fuck with that shit either under or over I am under just barely <laughs> you don't want to clap them cheeks nah I don't want to clap them cheeks. Not them cheeks, at least. I'll clap my own cheeks. <laughs> uh, make some videos, farmers or farmland. All right. Sounds good. You keep running it back with all these good story and topic ideas, man. I mean, the forest at night, it is creepy. It is, I mean, it's like soothing in a sense, and it's also kind of creepy at the same time, you know? It's kind of a, a bittersweet thing, for sure. Gotta be basic first, but I love your content, man, and your voice. Ah, uh, thanks, buddy. Is it Najito? I appreciate it probably fuck that name up but I'm sure there's some good ocean stories out there there has to be right I'm also afraid of heights I'm I'm not afraid of heights but I'm afraid of heights at the same time I'm, I'm afraid of heights when I'm in like sketchy situations like I don't really like Ferris wheels at all I don't know why but I just don't. I think it's just because you're up there. It's like so slow. But I'll go on roller coasters and all that stuff and have no zero problem with it. But <laughs> you're my favorite AI channel. Thanks, Blaney. Appreciate that. I'm glad that I can be top tier AI. What do you think is in the ocean? Um, lots of stuff that we don't know about. What is, the, what is the saying? We know more about space than we do about our own ocean, which is a very scary fact. And like, what was the, the Titan that like just fucking exploded not that long ago and where they went to go see that Titanic? Like, we're not supposed to be down there. We don't have gills, you know? <laughs> Quit it. Thanks, Alan. Thanks for stopping by, too. You seen the movie The Fall? No, I have not. Is that a scary movie? Is that a movie about people just falling for 90 minutes? Slenderman comes out of the trees asks you for some twag. <laughs> yeah, I'd clap some Slenderman cheeks. I'd do that. I heard this ocean story where some humanoid creatures try to drown someone also. Yeah, I don't... 
I don't think so. A lot of those ocean stories that scare me is just like people being stranded out there, you know? Like, that's scary as hell. Like, just be surrounded by complete, like, darkness and black all around you and sharks and shit are bumping up against your legs. Like, fuck that, man. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? My friend almost filled with Grand. Yeah, I've, I've been to the Grand Canyon too, and it is insane. People were getting so ridiculously close to the edge. I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You guys have fun. You go get your selfie out there, but uh, I'm going to stay right here. Two girls climb the highest Rio Tower in the state. Yeah, I've watched videos of people doing that stuff, like parkouring and like what like free running and stuff like off of buildings and doing crazy nothing no i'm good on that bikini bottom somewhere in the ocean it has to be right go to the crusty crab seeing the news about the huge underwater mass moving from Antarctica to south i haven't seen that but that sounds scary as shit I'm playing Fallout 3 right now. New Vegas is probably my favorite Fallout game. If I had to pick. It's been a long time since I've had my butt cheek spanked. Yeah. <laughs> me too, man. Me too. If anyone's doing it, it's, it's me to me. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea, though? That's the real question. What about adventures gone wrong or Alaskan horror stories? I've done Alaskan before. I definitely want to do more of those. Um, adventure gone wrong. That's another good one. And another one. DJ Khaled. The ocean is just scary in general, my guy. All of it. All of it's just scurry. Alley Storm and Rum 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 Ahoy. Rum Ahoy are my favorite pirate bands. I do like a good sea shanty. Because who doesn't, right? An another one. Um hold on one second. <sighs> um, I think if I remember right, I sided with House. Does that sound right? Yeah, it's been a really long time since I played that game, man. Um, I'm I'm overdue for it as well, Lewis. You and me both. Another one, another one. What about? SpongeBob, dude, or about what about Doodle Bob? Grunge cops wear plants. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? You know what I said? I have some stories that I told. I haven't told anyone but my wife, but I want to tell them now. Well, send them in. Send it. Full send. Up, hell yeah! I'm a Resident Evil game gamer. Resident Evil Four is the best of all the Resident Evils, in my opinion, too. So, scary pastry. Ooh, I'll take a pastry right now. One of those cream fridge. Man, bear pig. Half man, half mare, half pig. I'm man bear pig. I'm super cereal. Super cereal. Tiramisu. What about Terror Masu? That sounds like a hardcore band. Um. Alright. I said I was going to last till 12, but I'm not going to. 
I'm about to call it, guys. I'm sleepy. And my daughter will probably wake up earlier than me, like she always does. And I will be a sleepy boy. I'm going to try to do this more often, though. Um, probably not as often as I wanted to, but or as I want to. But yeah, it's night night time for me, guys. So uh, shut everything down here. Thanks for stopping by. If you did, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Friday night or Saturday night or Saturday, wherever you are, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for listening. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, let's do this again soon, shall we? Old man booze has got to get his old man rest. <laughs>